Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we have another request uh, that is Bane Ash Short Staff. Uh, the Bane Ash Short Staff is one that I think gets overlooked a lot, uh, but it is a relatively uh, sweet little weapon for level 5. Uh, you know, just, just in general, level 5 is, is pretty easy to be awesome at, right? So, you know, if you happen to have a really nice set of stats for level 5, uh, you could usually do pretty good. I've actually found this quite a few times as a low-level sorceress, and every time I've found it, I've always been pretty excited about it, too, because it's it's just really nice for a low-level sorceress. Um, let's go over the statistics of it, and we'll talk about what it can be good for. Uh, so we have a uh, Bane Ash short staff of 1 to 8 damage, which, believe it or not, at level 5 can kill a whole bunch of stuff. It's a level 5 requirement with very fast attack speed, 20% increased attack speed, which means it hits pretty fast. We've got 60% enhanced damage on this bad boy, which does uh, vary from 50 to 60%. Uh, we also have uh, 4 to 6 fire damage added on top, which is going to make it hit even harder, of course. Uh, we have plus 2 to warmth, uh, which is absolutely great for a low-level sorceress because it's going to help us regenerate our mana. We also have 5 to fire bolt, uh, which is going to help out a ton for a low-level sork because it's going to give you, you know, your... your plus five firebolt so uh you know it doesn't matter what level firebolt you have um it's going to give you a plus five to whatever it is uh if mine is 2896 to uh 3413 but uh, but still <laughs> we also have plus 30 to mana which is absolutely great because not only does this staff give us a bonus to warmth which of course is our regeneration speed for our mana but if you are unaware of how warmth works is it actually works better the more mana you have and at a very low level your sorceress doesn't really have a lot of mana so plus 30 to mana is freaking huge for a low level sorceress and um i mean it's just a very amazing stat for a character who is going to be very mana hungry for the majority of her uh you know early gameplay uh, we also have fire resistance 50%, which is massive because at level 5, there's really not a lot of monsters in the game that aren't doing fire damage. You got the shamans are shooting fireballs at you. You know, and for the most part, uh, you know, in Act 2, you got the fire archers are shooting fire arrows at you. Uh, there's a lot of fire going around in Act 1 difficulty and uh, a lot of fire in Act 2 difficulty as well. And that 50% fire resistance is certainly going to come in handy. And there's a lot of undead as well in Act 1 and Act 2, and the 50% enhanced damage to undead is actually going to come in handy. Um, now, you can walk out in normal difficulty, and you can just bonk things to death with this particular staff. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, so, e even in normal difficulty um, with, you know, like... Um, Let's go to, uh, like, Outer Cloister. Even when you get to, like, Outer Cloister and stuff oh, like that, uh, believe it or not, the damage on the staff is actually still enough to, to, to bonk a lot of things. And let me just take off everything that I've gone on real quick, just to make sure that we're only getting the damage of the staff. And as you can see here, I'm doing 13 to 41 damage with this staff, and I can still pretty much bonk everything to death. Now, of course, I need a little bit of attack rating to really make it work, but you can literally get in here and just do the bonking, like with this staff. And at level 5, when you put this staff on, and you're walking through the, you know, like, uh, stony field, which seems about appropriate for level 5, uh, just about everything you come across in Stonyfield is going to be very easily killed with melee attacks with this. So if you're not killing them with the Firebolt, which it's giving you, the plus 5 Firebolt, you can also, you know, just whack them. And not only that, but if, you know, it's giving you tons of mana for that level, it's giving you a really nice amount of regeneration for that level, and, uh, and if you don't have mana, if you can't fire your Firebolt for some reason, if it's failed you on that front... You can just go in there and bonk them on the head, which is kind of hilarious. Um, you can also find an ethereal version of this. And the ethereal version, of course, uh, has a little bit more damage. So instead of 1 to 8 damage, we've got um, 1 to 11. And since there's no stats on this, it really doesn't have any actual bonus. Now, we could go through the process of uh, upgrading this, and, uh, and I, I usually do, uh, even if I know that it's something that I shouldn't do. I I like to have fun with it, so let's just go ahead and have fun with it, shall we? So if we wanted to upgrade this, we would need a Rao, a Soul, and a Perfect Emerald, and it's going to go from 1 to 8 damage, level 5, to 9 to 33 damage, level 23. It's actually kind of not bad. I mean, I wouldn't want to be bonking things at level 23 on my Sorceress, 
but uh, but nine to thirty three damage at level twenty three with relatively no strength requirement certainly isn't a, a terrible upgrade. It's definitely not something that I would do, but um, I don't know if you still want to bonk things. It's up to you. Level twenty three is still a, a, a level for bonking. And if you have the ethereal version, you could upgrade that one too. And of course, that one is also a Ral, a Soul, and a Perfect Emerald. And that one's going to go from 1 to 11 damage, level 5, to uh, 14 to 49 damage, uh, level 15, oh, 23 with 15 strength requirement, so still relatively low. And then uh, we could, of course, upgrade this one more time, and I would never do this, not in 100 years, because I know that it's going to be a very poor upgrade. But we're going to do it anyway, because, uh, because what's the point of these videos if we're not going to show off the item in its most powerful iteration? Uh, which, you know, is kind of silly, because this item is not really that powerful. Um, it's good for low-level characters. Don't get me wrong. But it's not, of course, good for high-level characters. And uh, and when you upgrade it, the level requirement goes up, and that's the biggest issue. So uh, let's upgrade this uh, Main Ash Joe Staff from 9 to 33, level 23 uh, requirement with 25 strength. To 110 to 136. Very nice upgrade there, to be honest. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot of that's a lot of damage for bonking. Uh, we've got 25 strength requirements still in only level 55. You know that's actually not bad damage, um, but and the level requirement isn't that high. But I feel like it's just not quite enough. And the ethereal version uh, is 14 to 49, 15 strength, level 23, and it goes to 164 to 203 damage. Uh, quite a good bonking there. I'll go out and bonk some things with this thing. Come on, uh, outer cloister monsters. Come here. Come here. Get bonked. That's right. Get bonked. Bonking the bonking. <laughs> it was so absolutely silly to upgrade this thing. I'm not really sure what practical purpose upgrading the Bane Ash staff would really do. It seems to excel almost entirely at lower level characters, and, the, and there's a reason for this. Firebolt is generally not used on sorceresses past a certain level, because once you get to Fireball, you don't really want to use Firebolt anymore. Uh, Firebolt does have a much lower mana cost, which is, which is probably the only real benefit to Firebolt, is the low mana cost. And... Um, if you combine the fact that this gives you mana, it gives you warmth, it gives you Firebolt, and, it, and Firebolt is actually a relatively low mana cost skill, um, it could actually be a very nice option for quite some time from level 5, you know, up until, uh, you know, maybe like uh, Act 3 or something like that, uh, when you would take this off and put something better on, uh, like perhaps a Leaf Staff, which I feel like is probably a better choice around that level. But a Leaf Staff is a much higher level item. And, uh, and if you happen to have this laying around, it could definitely make your travels through your low-level sorceress a much, uh, much easier one. I'm not going to go over where to find this item because I've noticed that this item tends to drop just about everywhere in normal difficulty. Um, it actually <laughs> drops even. I've, I've actually gotten it in Stony Field before. So, uh, so you're probably going to find this at some point in your travels. Um, you know, upward, and if you don't, well, oh well, but if you're a little low-level sorceress and you kill Rock and Ishu and he drops this for you, then you're probably going to be pretty excited, and you're going to use it for a while until you finally get something better. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when it's about the Bane Ash short staff and, uh, and me upgrading it to the walking stick. And as always, keep watching.